Hey everyone, this is Chase with Rockymon HVMC, and this is my ride review of the Carbon Cell Knee Brace from Asterisk. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So today in this video, I just wanna give you my impressions of the Carbon Cell Knee Brace from Asterisk. I've got about 50 hours on these knee braces now, so for me, that's plenty of time to be able to give you my impressions and you know, kind of talk about any things that I've noticed that I like or dislike about the knee brace. So if you are shopping for a knee brace and this is one that's on your radar, hopefully this will help you make a good decision. Now, as far as all the technical aspects of this knee brace, we have a product spotlight where I talk about all those in full detail, so also give that a watch. But today is just more about what I've experienced with the knee brace, you know, the things that I like, and also the things that I don't like about the brace. Now, a couple of things I do want to point out, this is a premium knee brace, so you're going to be paying north of $600 for these. And also too, being a premium knee brace, it's full carbon construction, so it is pretty rigid. So if you are looking for a knee brace that is rigid, that's what this knee brace is going to offer. They do have adjustment or a hyperextension stop, so you can adjust where the hyperextension lockout point is. But overall, with 50 hours on this brace, I can show you the back here. The straps are in really good condition. The foam hasn't broke down. It's still in really good shape. Honestly, I haven't seen anything yet that I feel like is gonna wear out that I'm gonna have to replace anytime soon. So for me, that is a win in my book. You know, knee braces take a lot of abuse. They take a big beating when you're riding. So for 50 hours to say that the knee brace is holding up really well, that to me is a big plus with this, especially when you are spending that much money. Now, as far as the cons with this knee brace, Look guys, I'm gonna to be totally honest. I really don't have any other than the price point being expensive. They are really good. And let me tell you why I like these so much. So I came from another knee brace. I came from a Pod K K8 2.0, which was also a really good knee brace. My only nitpick with that knee brace was a little bit bulky. And that's just, I only say that because I have really big calves. I have about a 16 inch calf diameter. One thing I love about this carbon cell is how thin it is. When you just look at it, you can see it's very low profile. So when I put this on, I put it inside my boots, I can buckle my boots up no problem. Some riders, that might not be an issue for you, but for riders that do have larger legs, that's probably something that you're gonna be thinking about. So I love how low profile the brace is. Also, it's very lightweight. Probably, I'm gonna say easily one of the lightest knee braces that is out there. And the other feature I like is that it's actually pretty short. When you compare this to other knee braces that are, that are out there, it's a little bit shorter. and the reason that I like that, it just doesn't feel as bulky when you're riding in it. You don't feel like you have this big honking knee brace on, so it's low profile, it offers good protection, the kneecap design gives you full coverage no matter where your knee is at. And overall, I've just been really happy with them. I don't have any complaints, and so if you are shopping for a knee brace at that premium price range, definitely one that I would consider. But if you do have questions or comments, if you want more of my feedback, I'm more than happy to give that to you, so make sure to leave your questions or comments below. And to pick up a set, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Orders over 75 bucks shit free, and if you like this ride review, we got a lot more just like it, so get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel and stay up to date. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.